Who doesn't crave sweet potato casserole on the holidays? And my family is no different. So I came up with this take on sweet potato casserole that's lighter on carbs, lighter on calories, but still delivers that sweet satisfaction. This recipe is so simple, it's so straightforward, and you could also double, triple, quadruple it if you're feeding a large crowd. This is a sweet potato casserole that has a surprising secret ingredient. Holidays are serious business in my family. I'm one of four kids and there are a lot of us and we just love to get together and celebrate being together, catching up and talking about how thankful we are for what we have and for having each other. There are a lot of musicians in my family and of course we all love food so every holiday turns into a delicious party. I came up with this sweet potato casserole to provide my family a signature side, something that they always look forward to for the holidays, but something that was much healthier. Of course, I'm starting with a sweet potato. I'm gonna peel it. And now I'm gonna cut this into one inch pieces. And now I'm gonna add them to the skillet with three other sweet potatoes that I cut up earlier. And remember that secret ingredient I promised you? Well, here it is, carrots. Orange carrots that work beautifully to lower the carbs, the calories, and the sugar content. And they look and taste just like sweet potatoes. So I have here a pound of baby carrots, but you can certainly use larger carrots as well. You just have to peel them and chop them up. Sweet potatoes are fantastic. They're busting with fiber and beta carotene. Carrots have exactly the same two nutrients, but for fewer calories and carbs. So when you mix the two of them together, you get that same creamy, dreamy flavor profile, but for a lot less. Look at that color, is that gorgeous? They're each orange and vibrant. It's sort of the same idea as mixing white spuds with cauliflower. Now I'm gonna pour some water over our veggies. You want just enough water to cover them and then you're gonna bring the water to a boil and let it simmer on a lower flame for about 15 to 20 minutes so the veggies get nice and soft. So let's test them out. Perfect, nice and soft. And we're gonna mash them up. I'm using an immersion blender, but really you can mash it by hand or you can transfer it right into a blender or food processor and you can puree it that way as well. Now, halfway through, I like to add in my mix-ins. Half a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Two to four tablespoons of whipped butter. And I'm gonna mix this around just by hand. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the immersion blender again. It's already smelling amazing. You could experiment with all sorts of different spices. I like to stick with the fall favorites. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, even pumpkin pie spice. I made mine creamy and luxurious, but certainly you could leave some texture, some chunks in there. Eater's choice. I'm gonna load it into the casserole dish. Now I'm gonna spread it out. And before we pop it in the oven, just one more thing, and you know what that is. Marshmallows, because every sweet potato casserole needs a marshmallow topping. I'm putting on two cups of minis. And you don't need to go overboard on the marshmallows because the sweet potatoes and the carrots are naturally sweet enough. And it gets all melty and ooey gooey in the oven and you get a marshmallow on every single bite. I love to serve this with an apple sausage stuffing, cream spinach, and shredded Brussels sprouts with crumbled turkey bacon. My family loves that one. Oh, look at that. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells fantastic. Mmm. It's so delicious, and all the flavors really come together. I can taste 
the natural sweetness from the sweet potato and the carrots, although you would never know that there are carrots in here unless somebody like me told you. I personally always look forward to Thanksgiving because it's that one time during the year that the whole family comes together just to really appreciate all that we have. Wishing you a happy Thanksgiving filled with good health and delicious food. Hungry for more? To see more videos just like this one, click right here. And to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click right here.